today's show is a little, you know, again, if you watched my Twitch stream yesterday, you'll know I got fucked up. Uh, but anyway, last night I watched a movie. This is it, folks. Movie number 50 out of 50 for the Spook 6 you are Halloween night. What did I choose to view? I chose The Exorcist. Classic horror film. Also, we got Max the dog here, um, who's being a puppy. So, thank you, Max, for joining us. Um, The Exorcist, folks. Like, what do you, what do I need to say other than it's the motherfucking Exorcist? Like, this is like one of the most classic horror films ever made. I mean, you know, you can make an argument that The Exorcist is like, you know, it's like just, it is the quintessential modern horror film, right? You know, like there's the pre-exorcism, uh, the, the pre-exorcist era of horror. You know, you got the, the monsters, you got the Draculas, you got the vampires, you got all that fucking shit. You got the really wacko shit. Then you got motherfucking exorcists, right? It kind of wages into a new era of horror. Um, I remember watching this movie when I was a kid. Um, and it's just a great film. It's really good. A lot of people... You know, they don't respect this film. You know, I looked up a couple of reviews, and a lot of people say that this film is uh, so bad it's good. Um, like, it's, it's, I don't, I disagree. I mean, like, you gotta go in, like, whenever you're watching a movie, right, you really gotta go into it and know when the year of release was. In 1973, the idea of projectile vomit, the idea of demons possessing your child, like, that's scary shit. Like, I don't have kids, let me tell you this. I don't have kids, okay? Um, but imagine, right, you're a parent, and a demon fucking, in, like, infects your child, and the demon's, like, vomiting on people, and, like, scratching you, and, like, fucking throwing bitches out windows, and telling people that their mother sucks cocks in hell. You know, that is a scary concept. It's a, This is a scary fucking movie. Um, and so anyway, so there's a, an actress. Her mother gets possessed. Um, and then this movie kind of follows two plot lines until they converge in the middle. Um, of you got like this priest or whatever who's like he's struggling with his faith because his mother died and he feels fucked up about it. He's struggling with his faith. And, um, and so he's the exorcist. He comes in later as the exorcist. I love it. Um, and so he's struggling. He's trying his best, you know, a bunch of the religious nutbags, you know, the thing about this movie is this movie really kind of, I don't know if it necessarily spawned this concept or at least it, it, it catapulted it to the mainstream, but, like, the concept of, like, ghosts being afraid of, like, holy water or, like, like any religious iconography, right? Like, that kind of stems from The Exorcist, right? Like, most supernatural horror movies will throw in, like, oh, grab the crucifix or whatever. Or, you know, like, in a, that's like a meme in horror movies, especially that have to do with ghosts, paranormal stuff, demons. And that kind of just comes from The Exorcist. Um... Uh, and again, like, you know, I'm, I don't like religion, but like, to me, this is the ideal battleground of religion, right? Like it's all a bunch of made up fucking garbage. And so it's, it's most useful in this kind of story. Yeah, sure. There's demons and they battle God in like an eternal battle. And sometimes they, uh, will take over little girls and spin their heads around, you know, makes perfect sense to me in context. I totally believe it. Like in the universe of the exorcist, like Catholicism is real. Like it's, it's a real thing. It's not just some stupid bullshit, right? Like it's a real phenomenon. So I'm into it. It's a fictional world. Um, so anyway, again, uh, a team of scientists basically try to figure out, like, that's the thing about this movie It's it's two hours, right? It's a little long. And like the first hour is like, the science is failing, right? The medical industry is failing. The hospitals are failing. All logic, all reason is failing. And then one time, like at some point, a doctor's like, have you tried an exorcism? You know, have you tried an exorcism, man? Like it might give psychological benefits, placebo effect, you know? And so, um, and then so again, they go through all the lists of scientific and medical stuff. And then they decide, fuck it, let's call the exorcist. And the exorcist story, like his thing is his mother died. 
Um, and like, you know, he's struggling. He's like not even sure what to do, but then he goes to investigate and he calls like the thing about the exorcism is like, you need to get permission from like the Pope or some shit or something. Like you need to go, you need to get like permission from like the Vatican or some stupid ass shit. Like what? You know what I mean? Like, like who, like who made that rule? Was that like written in the book or like written for the movie? Or is that like a real thing that these dumbass Catholics do? It's like, oh, sorry, I can't exercise your demon daughter. Gotta go fucking, you know? And what did they do before like telephones? Like, you know, like, oh, sorry. Gotta go travel to the Vatican. It might take me, I don't know, six months uh, to get there and then come back. So hopefully you're not dead. Hopefully your daughter's not dead. Uh, gotta go to the Vatican real quick, get permission slip signed. Like, what the fuck? But anyway, so, you know, there's the test rounds. Is this bitch really haunted? Does she really need it? All that kind of stuff. And uh, it's just great. I love this movie. Uh, again, the effects are really fucking good. For 1973, the effects are phenomenal. Projectile vomit all over the place. Like, the, and I also gotta say, the child acting in this movie. Now, again, I... I've heard some trivia about like the behind the scenes on the child acting and how like, you know, it was a little bit much for, for the child actress, uh, but it's excellent. The performance is excellent, right? Like again, a child is going to act like very bizarre in this situation, right? And the child acting is very bizarre, like especially in the early transitional period from like when the demon is first possessing them and then the cuts on the face uh, you know, there's cuts on the face and they get deeper and wider over time. And it's just, it, the performance is great. Uh, like I love, I think it's like, I think the first line where, you know, this bitch is, is possessed is, uh, where I think she's like talking to doctors or something. She's, she's like having like a, you know, her, her whole body is like spazzing out. And then she's like, oh, you fucking bastards. And then, like, they put her out. Like, I think they're trying to put a needle in her to, like, sedate her. And then, like, you hear her say, like, you fucking bastards. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, how cool is that child actress thinking right now? Like, damn, I get to say you fucking bastards in a movie. And again, that's crazy shit. For 1973, you gotta fucking factor in. Imagine this. Your kid possessed. Your kid is saying fuck shit ass fuck. And then, like, again... The scene where the kid actress, and now I don't even know how they filmed this. I don't even know if this is legal. I have no idea. But for a movie, wow. When the child actress takes the crucifix and starts like stabbing herself in the crotch and screams like, fuck me, fuck me to like the goddamn crowd watching the scene. Like that fucking scene was brutal. It was uncomfortable. Like the blood splattering everywhere. Jesus Christ, man. This is a fucking hardcore film. This is a hard ass motherfucking core ass motherfucking film. It's really fucked up. Like again, I I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I was like really fucking high last night. I was I was in and out of the the high zone last night. So I uh you know I may have I think fallen asleep for like a couple minutes here and there. Uh, but I've seen this movie before. It's just it's such a great film. It really is like the tone. Right, I especially love like the archaeology component at the start of the film uh, when they do this long drawn out like they're in like Iraq or something and they're finding like a fucking ancient like I don't know what it is some like cursed item and then something happens and now we're in New York I guess but it's just it's a great movie it's a great is it are they New York or DC I think they're in DC I don't maybe they're in New York I'm not sure uh, it's a great fucking movie um it's just great. I really enjoyed it. Like, I don't know. Like, to me, I picked this movie as movie number 50 uh, when I started the Spook 60 Lara this year. I picked The Exorcist as the final film I'm going to cover. And so I was, like, low-key looking forward to this, like, the whole time. And, again, it's, it's a great movie. Now, again, there's a lot of sequels to The Exorcist. A lot of them uh, either have something to do with the this movie in some way or they just take the concept and run with it in a different fashion. Maybe I'll check out the whole series. I'm not going to lie. I've seen a couple of these exorcism, exorcist movies, right? 
You know, they got to the point where just like, I don't even know like if, if the exorcism of is like a, a trademark or something. Like, can I make a movie called like the exorcism of the stupid ass bitch or whatever? But I've seen a lot of these exorcism movies, but this one is the classic. And again, it's the quintessential modern horror. If you can even call 1973 modern, I'm not sure if you can. But like, it's, it really is. I mean, it's that step into the next era you know, this movie has been referenced in almost every other horror film, right? Every horror filmmaker has seen this movie, right? Every horror fan has seen this movie. It's a classic. You got to watch it if you haven't. Um, it's just a great movie. It's just, it's, again, it's, it, it's so good. It really is the tone, the acting, right? Like, it's all like the cinematography. I love like when this, the, the camera is just staring down, uh, at the darkness, you know, with that stairway. Um, I love uh, the when the camera's looking up in the at the the window from the street outside, and you see like the fog and the mist and the lights, and it's just it's all it's moody, it's atmospheric, it's scary, it's high stakes, and again, there's shocking shit that you don't see in movies, right? Again, your mother sucks cocks and L. That's a great fucking line. Now, again, I, hey, I, why is that such a bad thing? You know, let the bitch rest in peace. She wants to go to hell and suck some cocks. That's not fucking, no, who's getting injured here? Who's the one, you know? So fuck it. Let her fucking suck cocks in hell. Let her be happy. Because we all know that that's what heaven's going to be like for me. So I'm into it. So anyway, uh, this is a great movie. The characters are well well done. The acting is well done. The demon possession is well done. The effects are well done. I just love it. I love, like, the scene where, like, the tornado's going around the room and shit's going on. I love, like, the jumping out the windows. I love it all. Great movie. The Exorcist. Check it out. That's all I got to say, so. Um, so there you go. That's it. That's the spook six you are, folks. 50 movies. Watch them all, watch all the reviews, and watch all the movies. I mean, if you missed it, you know, if you didn't see them all, go back and check them out. Um, you know, like it's, you know, go back and watch all the movies if you want. Next year, I got a whole different setup planned. Um, and uh, there you go. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed doing Daily Horror. Um, and, uh, you know, I did it for more than a month as well, so... Yeah, very fun, very enjoyable. I would say I recommend all 50 movies on this list. A couple of them are ones I've never seen before. You know, I wanted to keep some surprises here. I'm not doing like a top 50 list or anything, but uh, it was just, it was a great time. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching horror movies every night, but also I'm ready to take a break. So um, we'll see about if there's any going to be any movie reviews uh, in the short, in the near future. We'll see. Um, but uh, either way, Go back, catch up, watch some of the movies that you didn't see if you want. And uh, and until next year with the Spook 7, you'll are. So, I'm mean to chat. No cocks for me. What the fuck? This is bullshit. <laughs>